Hi everyone, it's Kezia over here from Kezia's Corner and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kezia. So today's video is going to be a video about me testing out some new Catrice cosmetics from their autumn and winter collection. Since I am in Sterling, I missed a really cool event where Catrice Cosmetics Malta and Pharma MT helped launch the autumn winter collection for Catrice Cosmetics. But I really would like to thank them because nonetheless they kept me a goodie bag. <laughs> which is like this bag is so cute like I'm never gonna get rid of it it's just so pretty like with three nail polishes they just kept a goodie bag for me and my dad went to collect it for me and when they came up to see me they actually brought it with them so I would like to thank Pharma MT and Catrice Cosmetics for these products um thank you very so very much I'm so disappointed I missed the event and I hope that for the next event I will be in Malta like I really hope so like what the hell um and I also want like to thank my parents for being so supportive and bringing the stuff over so I really love you miss you um, so yeah they're not gonna see my video probably like when my mom watches the video she'll be like <sighs> like when I used to film stuff in my okay I'm just going I'm detouring so I guess you just want to see like the new products from Catrice Cosmetics so I'll be leaving um, links to the Catrice Cosmetics Malta Facebook page down below so definitely go check it out if you would like to keep up to date with what's happening with Catrice Cosmetics you can find Catrice in various um, pharmacies in Malta I know there is one at uni as well so if you're like in uni um, there's one at the health shop it's like a really big stand I used to visit a lot actually so yeah anyways if you want to continue watching and see what products they tested it out and how they actually worked out obviously the other products I have on my face right now then keep on watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and thank you again to Pharma MT and Catrice Cosmetics Malta so yeah without further ado let's get started bye guys so, <laughs> we're going to start by seeing what's in this big beautiful bag that I really really like it's this one like uncovered okay so um, basically all the products uh, all the products came in this cute little bag which I think I really like especially for traveling I think this is a perfect perfect bag so we have a bunch of products um, the only thing that I have applied on my face so far is a primer and a little bit of green concealer because I have this er annoying annoying spot I called it Tim because basically I like calling my spots sometimes especially when they're going to be big and they're going to last quite a bit on my face so I like getting a relationship with them yeah I'm weird <laughs> okay so I'm going to start by using these two products yeah before I get started I just want like to mention these two nail polishes I actually have them on my nails right now so these are the Catrice brown collection nail polishes this one is in the shade 4 unmistakable style and this one is in shade 2 sophisticated vogue and I have this one which is unmistakable style on four of my fingernails and the other one, Sophisticated Vogue, is <laughs> this one right here, and it's on my ring finger. So I just wanted to mention these two, and these are perfect for autumn. You can use them on their own, or you can do like what I did. I used both of them, and I really like it, and it just reminds me of autumn. So I really, really love these two nail polishes. So the next two things I'm going to be mentioning are these two. These are the Catrice Cosmetics Retouch um, Concealer. So we have the yellow one, which is for anti-dark circles, and then we have the purple one, which is for brightening. So I'm going to use um, the brightening one just to see how it works. So it comes like this. So basically what you have to do is you have to roll out the product. And the first time they take quite a while. Oh, Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, I took out quite a bit, guys. Whoopsie. Okay. So I did quite a bit. That doesn't matter. Um, so watch out how much you actually roll out of it. I'm just going to use my damp beauty blender and just blend that out. I haven't applied foundation yet, so I'm going to apply the foundation over this. But it really does the job of brightening up your skin. I can already tell we'll see how it works with my um foundation and then when i apply the powder we'll see if it creases up or so okie dokie i see a tesco van coming right up so 
someone must have ordered some <laughs> groceries. So I'm just going to lightly dab the concealer in my fingers just to finish it off. But I really do think it actually brightened up my under eyes, so I really like that. Um, the yellow one, again, like I said, is for anti-dark circles, but I don't really have that, so I'm not going to be using it today. But um, overall, I really liked um, how the purple blended out. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply foundation, and we're going to see how that actually works out with the foundation. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and I actually applied some foundation and some powder. I didn't find the need to apply um, under eye concealer like I always do. Now the thing is, um, like I think because I applied too much of the purple product, it's sort of, I don't know, I can still see it, so some of it, or yeah, but that's because I applied too much of the product, but it just, I think it just um, blended nicely um, with the foundation. Um, so yeah, um, now I'm going to try out something new. We have this brow product right here, so I'm just going to um, this is the Brow Palette Matte and Glow Powder and Wax, and mine is in the shade 10, Now Flash Light, it's called, I really like the names, they're so cute. So I'm going to be trying this out, so it comes with a wax and with a powder, and also with some glow. So it comes in with three shades, now this one broke up a little bit for me because um, it obviously got shipped overseas. Um, and then this is the powder, but it has like glitters on it, and then... This is the wax. So let's start with the wax and then we'll work our way to the rest of the products. So I'm just going to start applying it on one eye. Eyebrow, sorry. It was so easy to work with. I'm noticing that this wax actually was so easy to work with and it didn't take me long to do my brows where normally it just takes a little while longer. So I don't know what the difference is between this one and this one. I think this one is the normal powder and then this one has like little specks in it. So I'm going to use the normal powder. Ooh. This powder will really help if you have like missing bits in between. It really fills in the brows nicely. Ooh, it's really a really good powder I think. Okay, so we're going to use the middle one, which is this one right here, and it's sort of like a glowy, it's going to, I don't know, <laughs> we'll see, it's going to like help us create a little bit of a glow on our eyebrows, so let's see. I didn't apply a lot, so let me try and apply. Yeah, oh, oh, so my brows have glitters in them. Now since I dipped in twice for the other one, I have to dip in for the other. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so I'm seeing the speckles in the in my brows. That's really cool. So I kind of really like this because it's sort of different because it adds that like glitter powder to that to your brow, so you can add that. So I really really like this. Yeah, and and like I said, it was easy to work with and. Um, it, the, all the products, all the wax, the powder, they're very pigmented and like I said, if the wax doesn't fill in certain parts of your brows, you can also just go in with the powder and it will do the trick. I really like this. So I'm just going to set my brows and I will be um, right back. And I have to clean my sheets because I dropped some powder on it. Okay, so it's recording. Like, I cleaned the mess that I did on my um, bed sheet cover. The powder went, so not a problem. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, so I set my brows and I really love my brows. So now we're going to moisturize our lips because obviously before applying some lipstick we should do that. So I'm just going to do it now because why not? And we're going to be using the Catrice Cosmetics Volumizing Lip Balm. And the packaging is so cute and it just comes like this and I've tried this before and I really liked it. So yeah, I really, really like this smells minty as well <laughs> so yeah we did that and now we're gonna do some stuff to our eyes <laughs> something to our eyes I'm just gonna create um, a cat eye look maybe no a cat eye liner I don't know we'll see but for this we're gonna be using actually the Catrice Cosmetics Glam and Doll Super Black Liner Waterproof and I'm just going to swatch it for you it looks really good so we're gonna try it out and we're going to see how this works now I'm <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this, so let's try it like this. 
Okay. Ooh, I really like this. So I'm gonna go and do my other eye off camera because with this eye I see, with the other one I don't see. So yeah, you can see that the eyeliner is really, really actually pigmented and it just creates a nice dark black pitch line. So yeah, you can see that. And it also dries down really quickly because I'm already feeling it drying down on my hands, on the palm of my hands. So yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> on my other eye hopefully and we'll be we'll be right back you're gonna see if I managed or not so pray for me okay so I'm back so as you can see um the eyeliner changed a little bit <laughs> because it had to um yeah this is why I don't like eyeliner sometimes you know you try to achieve perfection but it's just difficult so I usually don't like pen eyeliners I find that they are difficult to work with they are patchy but with this eyeliner you can see that there's no patchiness whatsoever so I really like that it created a very nice black dark pitch look so yeah this is a definite thumbs up from me and I will be probably using it so much so now I'm going to try out this mascara and I really like the packaging so this is the glam and doll um, false lashes mascara and it's waterproof as well and the wand comes like this like a short curved wand so we're gonna try it out and I'm going to actually apply it on my top and bottom lashes okay so I really like that it just separates my lashes so nicely and it just lengthens them so much so making them look like sort of spider lashes so yeah and how the wand is it makes it really easy for you to get in between all of your lashes so I really like that um so yeah I really like this mascara so it just really just lengthens them and separates them as for volumizes them it doesn't give you like a full tick looking lash but it just gives you nice lengthy lashes so yeah that's the mascara okay so now we're going to use something very exciting and I've been really excited to use this and this is the professional makeup technician techniques face palette and it just comes like this so it's a packaging like this at the back it actually tells you how to contour, how to drape, how to strobe and for individual perfection so that's very interesting. So it comes on the palette like this and we're going to open it. Ooh, you even have the same look at the very at the back so showing you how you can contour and all that and it comes with a little um, plastic thingy which says the names so then if you're going to look at the back and you're going to see what look you're going to use, you can easily follow with the names. And oh, this is such a gorgeous palette. So it comes with a mirror. And then this is how it looks like. So you have blushes, you have contours, you have a lovely highlight shade. No, this is a pearly brush actually, blush actually. This is the highlight. This is highlight silver. And then you have some matte powder and a matte cream. Oh, this is really interesting. So I'm going to be trying this one out, the last one, so we'll see what's going to, what's going to happen. So, <laughs> so this, it says we have to apply matte powder over here, over here, and over here. So you either apply the matte powder or the matte cream. But let me apply the matte powder. So I'm going to take the small brush, which I actually use for under my eyes, and I'm going to dip it in this one, right here. And on the picture, it says you... Put it under your eyes, so under my eyes, and on your forehead. I'm going to actually put it on my nose. <laughs> so, okay. It helped with the creasing for under my eyes, I have to say. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is matte contouring or matte bronzing. Okay, so for the matte, I'm going to use my Real Techniques contour brush and the contour shades are here. So you have matte contouring, which is this one, and then matte, that's the brush, anyway, and that's the matte bronzing. So let's contour, shall we? Ooh, I didn't take too much. Oh shoot, <laughs> that's a lot of product. Okay, so let's see. really like it okay so then you contour on your nose so okay did something yeah and then your forehead so and 
your cheek, your chin, I guess. Okay, so we slightly chiseled a little bit. Cool, cool, I really like that. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the blush. And the blush I'm going to be applying with my Real Techniques a blush brush. So you either have a pearly blush or then a matte blush. And I'm just going to use a matte blush. So, Why here? Why do you come in the way? Like, I don't understand you. I like this blush. I think I'm going to be using it quite often because it looks very natural, so I like that. Okay, so the final thing is highlight. So we're going to use this one. This is the Highlight Gold. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a little bit under my brows and then on my cheekbones. So. Ooh, it's showing. Is your likes. It's very sheer, so it's not that you don't see it that much, but it's there. Oh yeah, like when you <laughs> move your head back and forth, it's actually there. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little bit on this and on my cupid bow because yeah. Okay, so I really like this palette because this palette actually gives you a lot to work with. So you have a contour shade, a bronze shade, two blushes, two highlights and a powder, both matte and creamy. So I think that this palette is really, really good and the pigmentation of this palette is very good as well. I really like this. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Okay, so the last three products that we have are all lip products and I'm very excited to try them out. So first we have this one and I'm going to mention this to you because I'm not going to be using this one today. Um, so this is the Matte Lip Artist, and it should last six hours. And it's a lipstick that coats lips in intensive color for up to six hours for a velvety, soft lip feel. And oh, this feels so nice and soft, and oh my goodness, the color is gorgeous. Like, I would love to try it out, but I don't want to put this one on. This one is in the shade Hibiscus Proof, and it's in shade 40. So I really love this color. It's like a nice dark pink um, shade so it's a nice velvety feel lipstick um, and then we have this one which is their Catrice ultimate matte lipstick and this one is in shade 40 it's called dramatic lilatic so it comes like this and it's a nice purple shade like look at this so purple and this is the one I'm going to actually put on but I'm also going to be putting on this so let's try Start with this so first I'm gonna put this on okay so I applied the lipstick and I really really like it now the exciting part which I'm mostly looking forward is to apply a matte matte um, liquid lip powder on top like on the center to sort of um, make it even cooler so this one is in the shade 30 Jenny from the bronze I love these names they're so cool okay so I'm going to just apply it on the center and we'll see how this goes so this is like a test, like a trial, like I haven't tried this before, so I don't know, but it works in my head. Let's see if it works in real life. So just kind of, I really, really like how it actually worked with the lipstick. Like I think that these two go really together. I think even with this one, it went well as well. Yeah, I really, really like this. So I'll be probably using it quite a lot with other lipsticks because I think it just gives your lips a pop of um, sort of glittering feel and it also makes your lips look even plumper especially if you put it in the center of your lips so I really really like this so I'm just gonna take off my band like I always do and fix my hair so I really really like this finished look with these new products I think that Catrice come out with really affordable products and I remember that when I was at uni um, in Malta um, there was at the what was it called? That student house thing. I don't know what it's called. When it, where there's a canteen and then below it, there's a little farm, no, the health shop. And they had like a essence stand and a Catrice stand. I used to go there, you know, for like some stress-free shopping. I used to buy stuff. So yeah, I used to buy like one by one so you wouldn't actually see how much you're spending. So yeah, but I used to love it. And Essence and Catrice have been the first brands that I had actually bought from. I remember buying my first lipstick from Catrice when I was around maybe, what, 18? Um, and I really, really love the brands, both of them, both Essence and Catrice. Um, 
sort of Catrice when I had started, I had associated Catrice with sort of big girl makeup. <laughs> um, so like the essence was like the teen makeup and then Catrice was like, I don't know why I said that, I don't know. Anyways, but now I really like Catrice products. Um, I love um, their concealer. They have one concealer which I use all, every day. They have a really nice variety of lipsticks, even nail polishes. Like I really love these two nail polishes right here. So yeah. Um, my favorite product has to be, I think, the face palette because it gives you so much variety of things that you can do with it. But overall, I really love this product. So definitely go and check out their Autumn Winter Collection because they have a variety of products to choose from. And I just want to say thank you so much to Catrice Malta and to Pharma MT. I'm so gutted and disappointed. I actually missed the event. I would have loved to been to been there, but I really would like to thank them for still providing me with this lovely, lovely goodie bag. And I just want to say thank you so much. Um, to my parents actually brought it over for me so yeah they're so so very nice um so yeah definitely give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you in my next video bye guys